I come from a family of people who love being right about language. And if you were the type of person who said ax instead of ask, they would definitely correct you. Peace. And now for a new segment that I call Sun Show, Exposing Dick Moves. Debunking myths and misconceptions about diction. And today's dick move is people who are pedantic about the pronunciation of the word ax versus ask. Now, I've already covered the etymology of ax, and it is not the broken or improper pronunciation of ask that has been in use for over 1,200 years, can be seen in the works of Chaucer and Shakespeare and Old English Bibles, and derives from the word axion before it was clipped to ax and then ask. Ah, uh, but this is not about etymology. This is about pronunciation. Not of ax, but of ask. However, I recently noticed that when I say ask, I don't usually pronounce the K at all. So let me ask you a question. See, the irony is that most of the time when people are correcting, they over enunciate the word ask for dramatic effect. But when they actually use the word ask in normal everyday conversation, it sounds more like, did you ask Timothy? Why, yes, I asked Timothy. So while your conditioned brain may be pedantic about pronunciation, your tongue knows that words are simply sounds and will always look for the most fluent way to stitch them together, to smooth out what it is you're trying to say. And if what's being conveyed is communicated constructively, enough for you to correct it. Your correction is a dick move. We out ya.